Hey everybody, it's Dave with DII. Thanks for joining us today. We've got Carl Anthony with us. Hi there. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be talking about uh, how to use the hand pan in a healthcare setting. Uh, Carl works at a hospital down in San Diego area. He works with kids, adults, teens, all sorts of things. He's got a great history with working with uh, groups of people for decades. Uh, and so uh, he's a really, really great uh, musician and I love hearing him play. We're just going to chill out for a second here just to get to know him through his music. I'm going to probably join in a little bit. Daniel's over here in the background. Hey, doing all the A little editing. He's got his native flute. So <laughs> enjoy. We're just going to be chilling out here. We're going to get to the bio and all the discussion stuff in a few minutes. Uh, once you, uh, or if you have a chance, go to the subscribe button, the red subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already, become a subscriber to our channel. It'll be great to have you as a subscriber. Also, if you have any questions, check us out at davesislandinstruments.com. We're always happy to help. All right, here we go. Here's Carl. Here we are. coming out today. It is such a joy to be with you today. Joining us live. Uh, yes. Here we are, live in, in, and in person. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Super nice. Super I hope nice. you all have your hand pan in front of you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, if you don't, that's okay. Yeah, you know, we're here just to give you guys some information today. It's uh, really going to be helpful, I think, for, um, for you to kind of explain to us and uh, give us like a little tidbits of what you do in your daily life mm -hmm. working with people at the hospital and and how you use your music, not just the hand pan, but music in general. It's my privilege. Uh, to kind of give them a little um, levity in difficult situations. Yeah, great. So uh, give us, really quick, just give us a short bio. Tell us a little bit about yourself, mm. how you got started, where you came from. All oh, my stuff. goodness. Well, my name is Carl Anthony. And uh, actually, I love, I'm a songwriter, uh, yeah. is what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And um, and I love to bring music to, uh, to, to you know, the hospital. Um, Right now, it's, it's I've been doing that kind of 17 years, but I've had a music career for oh, golly 35 years, 35 plus years, and music is just makes everything better. Do you agree? I think, uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, if you agree, put a comment <laughs> in the comment screen. Yes, exactly. And, and so uh, I, f I found that uh, that music in the healthcare situation has been beautiful. What I do there is I go room to room, and uh, I play guitar, I play piano, I. My main instrument is my voice, and then, and then I discovered this a beautiful instrument called the handpan. 
and um, and that's what I uh, I started bringing that into the hospital, and it has been a, a real joy. But I go room to room, and I work uh, bedside with the kids. I also work in the group setting. I do drum circles. Um, I mainly bring uh, music to the hospital. We mm -hmm. have a program called the Healing Arts Program, mm -hmm. and we have storytellers. And we have musicians, and we have uh, artists as well. There's seven of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just think uh, music and art should be in every hospital. Mm -hmm. But of course, children's hospitals are very, very, uh, they're, they're receptive. And uh, I think they're going to, the program is in children's hospitals all over. I'm also a member of the National Organization of Arts and Health. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're an organization that's encouraging uh, uh, art programs in the hospital setting because it's a extremely healing experience mm -hmm. and uh, there's always a affirmative yes mm -hmm. when you uh, when you uh, talk to anybody about oh wow music. okay yes. yeah like yes please yes <laughs> let's do this yeah so and and, and the hand pan has been I just I'm using it more and more uh, in in that you know from room to room to groups to and it just really is uh, a healing instrument and great sound and beautiful and people cool. relate to it Wonderful. Yeah, that's really, I'm so happy you're doing that, by the way. I love it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's really good yeah. to have people like uh, yourself doing that and being part of people's lives and difficult times. So Thank you. I appreciate what you do. As a well, citizen. I appreciate the fact that you are creating a, such a beautiful instrument because oh, uh, there are lots of different types of hand pans. And I am so glad I found uh, I found you. Uh, it's great to have a master craftsman oh, creating you. an instrument that really has the tone. Oh, thank you that connects uh, with people. Yeah, and wonderful. We were just talking about that with Daniel, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's powerful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, so on that point, we were talking earlier about you know how you got started and all that sort of thing. So what I want to know, I always ask every guest uh, that comes on, is uh, when did you see the first hand pan? And then yeah. secondarily, what uh, led you to thinking to yourself, hey, maybe I should get a hand pan and use it in the hospital setting? Well, it, uh, you know, it's interesting. The, uh, I'm always looking at oh, what's going to be best suited. And you know, you go into a, a room in a hospital, and uh, in one room, it's it's a kind of a celebration. Maybe it's a, a birthday. Sure. You know, maybe there's a, a milestone that's happened. So, and, and maybe there's there's a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. um, but in another room, uh, there's a, a, a child in pain, mm -hmm. or they, they, maybe they're having a reaction to a med, mm -hmm. or it, there's sadness going on with the family. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different dynamics that happen in the hospital. So, so I'm always in my back of my mind, what's best going to be suited? And that's really what a healing artist in a healthcare situation sure. is doing. They're, they're looking at what's needed here. Right. You know, and, out how to you know, utilize right my on. my thing is music and what's needed here. And so with the hand pan, uh, you know, you, you see hand pans on YouTube. <laughs> right <laughs> here we are. <laughs> you see you see them on YouTube, but, uh, and I saw them and I, I thought, well, these are beautiful and and they sound great. But then I was in Italy, okay, uh, and I was walking through a town called Cortona, and a street musician was playing, and I went, what is that sound? Right. Sure enough, it was a, a hand pan and. Um, I uh, connected with that player and and played theirs and, and said this would be perfect for the hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, immediately when I came home, I just uh, sought out. Uh, and quite frankly, I sought out you know the the easiest way I could buy one. I found a place. I bought one. It was actually I thought it was pretty good until I. I played others, okay, yeah, yeah, and it went, right. oh my God, what I have is, it doesn't have the tone at no all. Tone, yeah. and, and then uh, someone recommended uh, me to you, and okay. I, uh, I finally found the hand pan that really has the tone that I experienced uh, in Italy. And um, so that's how I, I was brought to it. Right, right. And I immediately uh, went, and how can I get one of these and uh, do that? And so I've been, that's been golly. Four or five. It's been several years now. Four, yeah. yeah, at least four years. Yeah, at least four. Yeah, maybe five. Maybe five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so one thing about your hand pan that's uh, kind of custom is you had me engrave something on the bottom. Didn't I you? did. Didn't you? Yeah. I don't know if we can get in the camera at all. I bet you we can. Yeah, As maybe. a matter of fact, um, what I'll do is I'll play the instrument. Okay. I'll connect with the child. Okay. And then. Uh, I'll say, oh, wait a minute, there's something on the bottom here. I don't know what it is. Maybe you can read it. Let's see if uh, you can read it. Okay. I don't know if we can. Let's see. 
Oh, yeah, there you go. Back oh, up a little. Back up. Back right there. It is. There it yes. is. Can you read that? Oh, it might be. Or might, is it backwards? It could be backwards. It might be backwards. That's okay. Yeah. Anyway, it says feel better. Feel better. Yep. And I always get a, a great smile. Yeah. Uh, because I never tell them what it is. I said, there's something on the bottom. I, I can't read it. Can you read it? And they will yep. They'll look at it and yeah. immediately it gets a great smile. Thanks yeah. for putting that on the bottom. Absolutely. No, it's funny because when he was asking me to do it, I had this whole like a problem. I was like, well, what kind of font are we going to do? Is it going to be a script? Is it going to be printed? And <laughs> So we finally came up on something. But that was great and I, I think it's a really unique idea. Yeah. Because again, like, in that setting that you're working with uh, kids and that sort of thing, uh, the mystery of it all. Just a simple mystery of what's on the bottom. Yeah, Can something on the bottom. Wow. Yeah. But it really is. I mean, just a simple statement. Feel better. Yeah. Feel better. And so it's, it's not like a real... A uh, powerful thing where they're supposed to do this, they're supposed to do that. Just yeah. feel better. I actually even have that on the back of my my uh, business card. And, oh and yeah, okay. right, it's, it's just real small. You, you, you kind of have to squint to see it, and uh, because it's uh, hopefully that's uh, well, that's what music's all about. In my yeah, opinion. absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's see. Does anybody have any questions out there? If anybody has any questions or comments, it'd be great to hear from you out there. It's always fun getting interaction with the uh, people that are watching. Yeah. Uh, and get those little yeah. questions because sometimes we get some very interesting questions that come and go, uh, and sometimes simple, simple questions, but it leads us into a little direction yeah, we didn't no, expect no to go. No about it. I, I got, uh, I got 17 answers for all of you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, let's see. You, I believe, started calling this a singing drum. That's right. You know, I, I tell people, you know, you know, people always come up to you in the hospital and they're, they're, they're saying, what is that? Yeah. And I, I, I said, I call it my singing drum. And I said, it sings for the kids when they don't feel like it. Right. You know, are they, or, or they, it's not when they don't feel like it, but it's when they're just not feeling well. Yeah. You know, and, um, and so... Uh, of course, then I tell them, I said, the actual name is it's called a hand pan. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I go into the whole, you know, remember steel drums? This right, is a right. steel drum. But then I, because a lot of people really are interested in wanting to know what it is. What especially it is, the, where it came especially from. Especially the parents. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, they're, they're curious about it, you know. Yeah. It has such a great tone. And, and, and then, um, but, you know, I, I, I always, you know, when, when, when people come up and ask about that, I always uh, uh, have them, t you know, actually touch the drum and try to get. I said, I always say, try to get a tone. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and people love the fact that they can just immediately, you know, get something out of it. Right, of right, the exactly. Band. Oh, I everyone likes that. I love doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's do the nuts and bolts here. Okay. So let's say you are in a um, hospital setting, and, mm -hmm. and I'm like the kid or the person, yeah, uh, the teen, whoever. First time meeting you, whatever it is, how do you approach them with the hand pan right. and get to kind of get them started or or well, of course feel you, better? <laughs> of course, as I mentioned before, you, you kind of you, you're kind of feeling out where someone's you know at, and maybe it's a situation where they they actually just uh, need uh, you know some soft and 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 I use the uh, the hand pan as a way to just kind of um, connect mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and have. Uh, a way that I can just continue talking, okay. and I can just go, and I just start a nice little rhythm. Yeah. And uh, and then, and once I, I once I get to uh, them to a place where that I said, would you like to, uh, to to hear the hand pan, even though they're already hearing it. Yeah. And and I, I always say yes. Okay. Right. And I said, okay. Well, I said, if you want to close your eyes, you can close your eyes. Oh uh, yeah. Because uh, you always want to give uh, everybody the, the option of whatever they like to do. Right, right, and then, right. And then I'll go, and then m maybe I'll, I'll go into uh, uh, you know, where I f found this instrument, or you know, I'll ask oh, them sure. a question like a about story, it. Like I'll like go it. into a little story, but um, now this one, I think is. You may not know it. Uh, David might tell you, but uh, there are they may are they're made of different types of metals. This mm -hmm. one's a stainless. Stainless steel. Yeah. It has more of a sustain. Right. I think it works so much nicer in a in, in the hospital setting uh -huh. because it has that you know that that that, that you know, yeah that, that's sustain. a feel yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sustain feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll just talk to them and uh, I'll talk I'll talk with them and uh, and. Depending upon where they're at, uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll, 
I'll go into a, a, a little um, way, a way to connect. And it's usually, uh, I'll do that with uh, the pan and, and get them, and many times I've just been able to just lull them right to sleep. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes that's what's needed. Right, 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 uh, sure. Because maybe they're like, uh, they're having some anxiety or, mm -hmm. you know, and things of that nature. But there's also times when, you know, it's, it's time to play. And then what I'll do is I, I break <laughs> out, I break out. That's right. These are called rhythm rings. You gave one to me earlier. Yeah, you got one. Yeah, yeah. So these are, uh, you put them on your fingers, and they're just little shakers. Yeah. And um, uh, oftentimes, I, you know, I, I, I go ahead and I, I'll, I'll have, maybe I'll have them, if they're feeling well, I'll have them play on one side, and I'll play on the other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, but, it, you know, sometimes with younger kids, their hands are, they're, they're, they're not really, uh, they don't have enough girth where it, they get a, a good enough sound, mm -hmm. or, um, or, the, or, the, and, or they're, you know, they might have a tu sure. tubes and sure. stuff, and it's just, it works better for them to have something like this. Yeah. So I'll put these on their fingers, mm -hmm. and I'll put them on mine as well, uh -huh. and then we'll play together. Yeah, you got a little jingle jangle. Yeah. Shaky shaky. And, well, you know, something a little bit more upbeat. I like to sing. Oh my god, I want to try I like to that. Sing. I want to totally like try that. <laughs> <laughs> Another uh, silence is perfect because you you can get a yeah <laughs> right and then what happens when you can do silence stuff like that oh you know it's it's great because it, it brings the focus okay um, I, actually I uh, the, uh, it, what's really nice is uh, that is a, a place where uh, where you know whoever's in, in being engaged will, will will actually bring their focus even more and 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 the hand pan. You know, it, it, you can you can get rhythmic with it, but where it really I think it really sings is where where you do uh, a, a little slower beat. You know. Oh sure, yeah. and they're all so many of our incubators yeah. and uh, of course the, 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 lot, the parents are there and uh, that's when you you know you go in and just kind of create a space create a mood mm -hmm. and I'll go uh, I'll just go right up to uh, one of their rooms uh, where maybe a, a parent is holding their child and then it's all about just creating a nice beautiful mood yeah and uh, what, uh, but you know, it, it, it can it can add that that quality to that experience for that family. Mm -hmm. But I've also I, I had um, I had one very memorable experience where the the a nurse asked me to uh, uh, go out into a courtyard. We have a courtyard, good good rhythm. <laughs> uh, we'll go out to a, a courtyard. Um, with a family, and uh, this was a really unfortunate situation where their their child only had a few days to live, mm -hmm. and it was an end of life situation, mm -hmm. and um, and so they were uh, they were just being with their child mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, holding this uh, I think it was about a two month uh, old child and and uh, and they were just being there with the time that they had mm -hmm. and. Uh, 
And so the nurse asked, you know, maybe they would like some music. So I, I went over and I, I kept my distance. I was just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the space. And I went to this play, the, the hand pan. And as soon as uh, they saw it, they, you know, they looked over. Uh, the father asked me to come. Mm -hmm. So I went over as close as I am to you mm. uh, with this family of being with their child. And, um, and I played. You know, real soft. And, and I got a chance to connect with them a little bit. But what was really amazing is they, um, they wanted their child to experience the hand pain. Mm -hmm. And so they would get closer. Oh wow! Okay. And so that that they can so so that that, that their their child could hear uh, this yeah this yeah, yeah, yeah. tone yeah, and they would hold their baby above the the hand pan. Wow! And uh, and I um, I was with them out in that courtyard for you know over over an hour mm. uh, as uh, as as they just completely it was. And a, a, what an honor and a privilege uh, mm -hmm. to uh, to be able to be there during that uh, very difficult time for them. Yeah. So it gets it gets uh, to those places too. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'll you know I'll also take the pan and I'll I'll stay, I'll be out in the lobby and I'll during the shift change. I'll connect, oh yeah, yeah. Connect you were missing this earlier. Yeah, 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 connect with the staff. You know, yeah. uh, I get there early and there's the shift change, a lot of activity, and so I'll I'll I'll. Be out there, and I'll just kind of, you know, play some. Yeah, be out there playing and say good morning, and, yeah. I, and it's a way to connect. And and uh, it's amazing the responses you'll you, you'll get because they'll, they'll say, oh, that, that sounds so good, that feels so good, and then I'll get funny little uh, comments like, oh my goodness, it's like being on vacation, you know? Yeah, right, right. Oh, and a cup, someone will say, oh, I need is a margarita. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um. And, but at the same time, there's also families that are showing up that early as well, and uh, because they're there for the, to be there for a, a, a treatment just one day, yeah. and uh, and uh, there's a lot of uh, kids that will have anxiety mm -hmm. from you know maybe they'll have to have a shot or you know may, it could be that simple, but at the same time I remember I didn't like shots when I was no kid. no still <laughs> don't like shots <laughs> and so uh, they can they can be pretty uh, upset sometimes when they show up and so being out there when uh, during that time is, uh, this has been the perfect instrument for that too yeah 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 yeah. Daniel, do you know if there's any uh, comments yet? Uh, oh, yeah, there is. Oh, there there are there are there 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 Let's see what these comments are all about. All right, here we go. Comments. We'll start from the top, because they're going from the top. So I like to hopefully share um, a lot. This is just a comment. Diana Ho, lovely way to start the hour. So they love the music. Oh, the good. Beginning. Good. So that's <laughs> awesome. Good job, you guys. Actually, I'll put it right here. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> that looks great. <laughs> Uh, let's dancing. see. Oh, this is cool. Um, Ava said, "I work in the healthcare as well. I absolutely love what Carl is doing." Oh, uh, you got a follower there. Thank you, Ava. Ava <laughs> thank you, Ava, for the awesome comment. Uh, let's see. Actually, there's a. We are always. Let me see. Oh, here's a question from Kelly. Boom, boom. I'm a senior on a limited budget. Any budget saving ideas for getting my first hand? Ah, oh, classic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite, you guys got an answer for that one? Uh, I don't, I, well, well, you have, you have, well, you have I, rentals too. We do have rentals. Yeah. Thank you very much for yeah. reminding me. But and and we do have a good story on that one. Okay. So <laughs> it goes back to rentals actually. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a guy that that came to us. This is years ago now. Uh, and he rode a bike in, so it looked like he didn't have a lot of money. He's kind of a little disheveled looking. Uh, and he ended up renting one from us, and then he went down to the beach over here, Seal Beach, and he played at the beach for you know weeks and weeks and weeks. He ended up getting enough money, and it was like a stack of dollar bills like this high. It was hilarious. <laughs> and he ended up buying one for himself. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. By, by renting one, getting the yeah. money. And, oh, that's great. I yeah, 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 yeah. If he's out there, his name is Cosmic Bob. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping if Cosmic Bob is still out there that uh, he's still enjoying his hand fan. I haven't seen him for a while. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a good story. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, uh, 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 let me tell you, I, I, the first hand pen that I bought. It was uh, it was a little it was a little cheaper, not much. It was it was it was around the same, but um, but it was just not. It just wasn't the tone, and and that's one thing. Uh, anything you know when you're buying a guitar, any kind of instrument, mm -hmm. there is something that resonates to your own body, and 
So uh, certainly um, you want to make sure you get the, 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 the right instrument. And like I, I like the stainless, you know, I, they're all amazing, but I really love the stainless. But there is a, you, you just want to take the, 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 the time to, to get a, a good instrument and, um, and that's, that's, that's yeah, kind of, the that's classic it young person's dilemma. It, Frequently, it, they're always like, yeah. "How do I scrape up?" But the actually, money Dave, it's worth good, it, though. You know, it's this it's is a good time to plug the sale that is coming. Oh, we do have uh, sale. That's right. <laughs> there, there's we have a sale, sale coming up. Sale coming up. Uh, I didn't know yeah, this yeah, was yeah. going to cost me money. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so on. Uh, so we might have some budget options. Yeah, I believe it's September third. Whatever that weekend is, where the holiday weekend. Is that September third? Yeah, September third. So we're going to be doing our annual DIY. Uh, celebration, what do we call it? Anniversary. Yeah. Anniversary show. <laughs> You're going to do something out of no, the parking lot? So yeah, we're going to have it open up in the parking lot. We're, we're so thing. excited yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah so uh, please join us then if you, uh, if you have yeah, the time. Yeah, actually, they've been asking when the information is going to be up. We haven't posted the events yet, so it's going to be on the events page on our website. We'll, we'll have all the sale information going there. And then um, just stay tuned because there's a lot of people asking about it and we do really have limited supply right now, so. All yeah, right. um, by the way, before, uh, before yeah, you go yeah. on, okay. uh, let's do a couple more comments because I want to get to talking with you a little bit about songwriting. Sure. And maybe a little comparison between how people react with the guitar versus hand pan, just not yeah. negatives or positives, just the perceptions, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it's two different um, animals. Yeah, sure. two different animals, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I also want to have Carl sing one of his songs oh, for us. Okay, if we'll do it. Do you play him with me? I'll, I'll Absolutely. We played it earlier. <laughs> and it was just a lovely song. So, well, all I, mean, right. I won't be able to read all the comments, but I do have a question. Okay. So, Malaya wants to ask, wondering if Carl has suggestions on where, how we can learn several core beats to learn and choose from and play repetitively as in a meditation. In a meditation. Well, I, I highly recommend Dave. For uh, you know, for instruction, for sure. And um, well, th th let me th let me tell you my approach real quick. And you know, I I, I think rhythm is where I, where I start. So you know, sometimes the, the, all the notes, you know, and what to play first and all that, it can be intimidating. So what I, what I really recommend is use it first as a, as a rhythm instrument. And, and, and find a rhythm that works for you. You know, it, it could be some, just one note. Yeah. So you just uh, work with that. And uh, really feel the tone and feel the rhythm. And, and if it doesn't feel like it, you know, that you've talked, said meditated, you, if it doesn't feel like it's, you know, you're relaxed, slow down. The, uh, uh, the uh, meditative beat would be like around 60 beats per minute, which is like the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. It's like something like this, it's somewhere like this. Yeah. Something about there. So what you're doing is you're just doing a nice little beat. Now there, I'm just using the, 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 the ding note and three notes on the back. And I'm doing the same thing over and over again. So once you get a little pattern, I would suggest just doing that over and over again until it becomes a part of you. And I mean, this, this, was, this is mesmerizing. But once you, you get it down, then you can, you can just branch out to other notes. All right, everybody, take a deep breath. Yeah. <laughs> Very simple. Yeah, over here, I'm just playing three notes. part that from what I've noticed Rhythm. is from the repetition yes uh, you can also like you said um, slow it down yes so instead of going one two three four you can go one let yourself breathe almost two yeah just like let the, the sound die out right 
where you're not even ready. Yeah, you know that you, sort of you, thing. You just feel, you know, and and I, I if you want to do something without rhythm, I, I avoid the ding note. Where, yeah, where you go. A, a whole a whole vibe around that, and then you can continue to do that, and then and then you want to bring in the ding. Right, right, right. Throw it in occasionally. Oh yeah, super nice. Yeah. So and there's there's so many variations that you can do with this instrument. It's amazing, and I'm I continue every time I play it, I I go into a different direction and learn something new. It's it's been such a joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for all of us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ava was asking uh, what scale. Oh, these are D, D minor, D minor Celtics, which is sometimes we call it sunset scale here. But yeah, all our production I, models are D minors, unless yeah. you ask for a custom scale. Which yeah. Dave loves to do custom scales. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Gonna, uh, <laughs> I, I wanted. Uh, I, I think I told you this before. I I, I wanted uh, to do hijaz. Oh yeah, hijaz are good. I want you. They're I, I want uh, stainless and hijaz. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Fun. Yeah, it gives it that Persian sound. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds like a that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Let me. Let's hear one of your songs. So we'll okay. switch to guitar really quick. All right. Now the song we played this earlier when we were rehearsing, and it's in the key of like C minor or something. Yeah. <laughs> so in my you know musical brain, because I have studied music, I know that that's not going to be a really ideal key for a D minor instrument. Uh, because C minor has an E flat in it, this right. instrument has an E natural, and it kind of rubs and sounds a little funky. Oh, that's what it but what I did do, when I, what I can do on this, is I can identify and figure out which notes do sound good. Yes. And then kind of play around with those notes and avoid the notes that quote unquote sound bad. Yes, I, I've done that um, oftentimes to play with others. Yeah, so go ahead and play a song. I'm going to throw in like little things here and there, and let's see what happens. All right. So this is a little song that. Um, Actually, it was uh, a nurse asked me to sit with a little girl that had uh, have a a, a a respirator, which a vent, in order to breathe. Now, this was a new experience for her, and she was not happy about it. And so uh, they asked her that you know, if I could perhaps get her to just relax and settle down because she needed to get used to this. And so uh, my first thought is maybe I would. Uh, go in and try to do a little distraction method, you know, do something different. But my, but as soon as I sat with her, I decided, I, I think the best thing to do is to write a song about breathing. And so that's what we did. This is called Breathe. Breathe out, breathe in, feel the breath go through your skin. Breathe out, breathe in, slow it down, you're starting to spin. Now she helped me write the words, I want to mention that too. Gotta to give her credit. Breathe out, breathe in, feel the breath go through your skin. Breathe out, breathe in, slow it down, you're starting to spin. I hear your lungs breathing when I listen, when I listen. And I hear your heart beating when I listen, when I listen. Is that your life calling when I listen, when I listen, listen to the music in you singing when I listen, everybody breathe. Come on, Dave. For a moment, hear 
the sound of your lungs breathe a stop and decide for a moment <laughs> hear the sound of your lungs breathe in breathe out breathe in feel the breath go through your skin breathe out Started to spin. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hey, nice. Nice. Sweet. I love that tune. That's a great tune. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it's a great tune. Well, that, that little Audience. girl helped me write it. And uh, that, was, uh, that was beautiful. Well, that's the, that's, that's, a, a, great that's a little guitar that I bring into the hospital and use there. It's a, it's a, it's a beat up, but it's got a lot of love in it. I, like, I think it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good to me. It's like my, my ukulele. Yeah. 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 It's it lots of love. Yeah. Lots of love. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, when you use guitar, yeah. do you ever just exclusive? do you typically exclusively use guitar? Or, or, no, or you know what's, or what's you really together? been great, and again, uh, what's been great about having the hemp in, I, I, I play piano too. We have an eight foot grand in the lobby. Um, and, but what I... You know, I'm there. I use, I'm there uh, oftentimes eight hours, yeah. and it's a lot to have a guitar around your neck for eight hours. Good point. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so having the uh, the diversity of all of, of doing different things. If I get tired, I'll go to the piano and play for thirty minutes, uh, and then now uh, since I brought in the the handpan, of course, I can play it everywhere. And so I I just mix it up. Yeah. And uh, of course, I also uh, will get um, I'll get a list of kids that you know that specifically would like would like to uh, have. Uh, or usually, it's the child life or the nurses that they think they this they would really hmm. I benefit from yeah. from having me come. Mm -hmm. And so I'll get a list of those kids, and um, and then I um, I will go ahead and bring the guitar, perhaps, or I'll bring this dependent upon maybe one time when I visit a, a, a kid I'll bring the guitar first and then next time I'll you know bring the hand pan uh, but I because I can kind of gauge from you know if they would appreciate one or the other right 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 right, right. but with the with the the guitar you know I'm singing so I have a lot I have over 500 songs okay that I've written and uh, and so yeah yeah get comfortable. Five hundred. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> I've only wrote uh, one. <laughs> so I, so I um uh, but I, I'll, I'll sing those songs. But I also oftentimes uh, depending on if it's needed, I'll write a song. Sure. You know, and so that they can express their own feelings or whatever. Yeah. All right. So you know it was interesting. Somebody asked earlier about like what notes to to use to find mm -hmm. a, to play meditative kind of sort of thing. Kind of frequently, people have those questions for us. They're like, yeah. "How do you write a song? How do you come up with a riff? How do you come up with a jam? You know that sort yeah. of thing." What uh, other than what you showed us before, like yeah. just music in general? Do you have a system of creating? You a know, song? I, I I always uh, I, again I always go back to rhythm, uh, even uh, on guitar. Even on guitar. Okay. You know because I I. I I kind of feel well with the guitar. You know, you you can create a you can you can create a uh, yeah, just say you know just just a little picking thing, you know, and 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 could kind of get a feeling of it. For me, it's always about um, come up with a little uh, a little riff, make it simple. Yeah. This is a little four chord thing. Yeah. And just and just kind of play it and repetition, just like you said, yeah. You know, it's and, and you just kind of you just feel it and feel it in your body. And uh, I remember actually this particular these four these particular four chords. I was just doing this, and uh, the first words that came out of my mouth were, "I heard someone is sad." So you just. This yeah, first thing that and came we, up. yeah, and so that and that might be all I get. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. So the 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 uh, issue with songwriting is uh, the inspiration is really easy. Mm. The completion, right, can be hard. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had the same experience. <laughs> you, you, you. I mean, so and so, it's ninety percent of the energy uh, uh, goes yeah. into the last ten percent. Of a song. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, because making it palatable, making it presentable, making it available, uh, is uh, is 
you, you know, you could, you can, you could be inspired uh, real quick, like, like, uh, like to breathe in. I'm sure that you know that that, that was easy. Breathe in, breathe out. Uh -huh. Okay, now what? <laughs> right, yeah, 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 yeah. You have yeah. to do the verse and all that. Yeah. Stuff. So, uh, so you get the inspiration. I have literally hundreds and hundreds of inspirations, of ideas, of chord progressions, songs, one little words. I'm a, I'm a word man, so I so I, I'll write down. Uh, oftentimes, I'll write down just you know that's a nice little phrase that would make. I, I, every day, I think what comes out of my mouth is that would make a great title for a song. <laughs> you okay. know, and, yeah. and so yeah, I'll write it like, down. That would make a great title. Yeah, that. so I write it down. But it, with the hand pan, you've got you know you, you can you create. I think again, create a rhythm. You know, create a you know keep. It. Keep it nice and simple. Don't make it hard on yourself. Keep a, a, a rhythm. And then once you get that rhythm, you can branch on. You know, and, mm -hmm. and, and just uh, allow that to allow that to be all you do for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so that you get the feeling of the rhythm and then and then you can play around with uh, syncopation and, and, and other little notes yeah. and I guarantee you, there's such a forgiving instrument I mean and, and once you get a rhythm down any note you hear is going to sound great even the dissonance because you know you got you got you got you got perfect harmony on one side yeah. mm -hmm. and then you've got the perfect harmony on this side yeah right you know you could do your you, you know your triads and uh, and you, you look Dyads and things, but then you go side to side. Oh, Sounds a little, yeah. But but if you really listen to that, it doesn't sound. It sounds great. Yeah. It's now you're a jazz artist. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can just you can. You gotta listen to it. No, it does sound kind of cool. I think I think it sounds beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And if you feel like you've hit a note, we talked about this earlier, if you feel like you've gone and you've done a pattern and you've hit a wrong note, I guarantee you it won't be a wrong note if you come back to it and hit it again. Mm. And then you bring it back again. And all of a sudden it becomes part of your composition. Yeah, exactly. It, like a it, motif. Yes, because yeah. you're, you're, the scales you've created on here, are they all play together well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They really do. Mm -hmm. And even in the bottom notes, you know. Know, you, you can get some real vibey sounds uh, yeah. with uh, with almost anything you do, and you know uh, you'll find that other certain notes will sound better than others for your ears. Mm -hmm. But I have learned to love pretty much anything I can do on this. I, matter of fact, I try to do things that I'm I right. I'm, I'm familiar with the notes, and I and I know that these two that, that that's oh no that's not going to work. And I I my ear is now kind of enjoying all the dissonance that this thing creates. Yeah, no, it's interesting. You can even start your idea with dissonance. For instance, yes. like the E and the F tends to be like the most yeah. distant. Right, right, right. But you could start uh, like that and then hit something else. Yeah. Isn't now that beautiful? Also, yeah, now it sounds like something. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now we yeah. didn't figure out what we were going to hit. We, we didn't <laughs> decide anything. No, yeah, I didn't talk to you about that. No. <laughs> and I, and I was, we were just hitting notes, and I don't know, you can judge for yourself if... Uh, exactly. I, 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 yeah, exactly. like, oh, I, I kind of liked it. <laughs> I we just, just call that dissonance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 that's a, and that's a thing with music. It's, it's, it's dynamics. It's soft. It's loud. It's silence. Yes. It's dissonance. It's perfect harmony, yes. and uh, to create a uh, to create this this masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel, do we have any more uh, comments, questions? Um, let me see. About um, people are talking about the events uh, when the sale is. This is a nice comment. Um, Carrie Shanti says... Hi, Shanti. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, she says, enjoying the interview and the music and the wonderful generosity of the heart that Carl shared. Uh, Absolutely. I love it. Yeah. So I love it. She's awesome. my lo uh, a beautiful sister. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Anything else? The scale? Please. Oh, yeah. Diana said the same thing. Diana. 
Thank Carl for his generosity of spirit today and every day. I love, I love the compliments. compliments. Oh, yeah, these are great. Thanks for the comments, yeah. everyone. This one was kind of weird, but I'm going to put it up here anyway. <laughs> yeah, weird comment. Uh, I, I don't know, like, because they're using uh, uh, medical terms. I'm hoping this can have some application when I move into ketamine assisted psychotherapy groups. Oh, therapy. I can only imagine that that would be great. The future looks bright for mindful and musical interventions. So yes. Carl can speak to <coughs> no, yeah, that, no, that would. That I, was Rambo that Joe. That sounds good to me. Rambo Joe 2323. Awesome. <clears throat> and I think that was pretty much it. Did you do my plug already, Dave? Uh, oh, you've, yeah. Daniel's got a meditation thing coming up. When is that? On the 27th. Yeah, I, have, I actually have a flyer. He's got a flyer. Uh, got a flyer. flyer there, you go. there it is. Hand pants, sound healing. Nice. Daniel's going to be leading it. That's coming up. Uh, you can go to our website to register. I believe it's under events. Go to davesislandinstruments.com slash events. Saturday, August 27th from 6 to 7 p.m. here yeah. at DII. So if you're local, this is an awesome way to raise your vibration. Give that's right. guided med meditation. Next and Saturday, right? Whatever Carl is talking about right now, that's what I believe. And oh, that's yeah. Like, that's yeah. What's, what's definitely going to be coming out. So that's it's great. It's been good times. I've been learning a lot, and that's what I think it's all about, is like Beautiful. sharing and learning. You know? Beautiful. So it's yeah. awesome. Well, do you want to do like a little jam? Yeah. We'll just jam hey, it out. I'll also mention that um, you can go to my website if you're interested in my work. It's Carl with a K, oh, yeah. Anthony.com. Just, just my name, CarlAnthony.com. Anthony, and then there's no dots, there's no, no slashes. No, Carl that's Anthony. it. Just, dot, yeah, I got dot the, com, you said? Yeah, dot com. There you go. Yeah, I, I'm an old guy, so I got the domain. Early. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, what was it again? <laughs> CarlAnthony.com. www.carlanthony.com. <laughs>
All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Big thanks to Carl here for coming out today, driving down. Thank you so much, Dan. I'm, and thank you, Daniel. Appreciate both of you. Yay. Absolutely. And thanks for everybody tuning in out there. Yes, thanks so much. Yeah, this Have a beautiful super day. Fun. This All is right. so awesome, you guys. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We'll be doing more of these next Saturday. Oh, yeah, next Saturday. Yours is next Saturday. Sound Healing. And then the Saturday after that is our anniversary. So That's right. Coming we'll up quick. We'll see you guys there. All right, everybody. Have a great day. All right. Mahalo. Let's jam again. All right. <laughs>